Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the Great Dr. Bright. Or off the playing horror games. If you see just chatting, it's because it doesn't have a Twitch category. Anyways, let's get started. Okay. Daily routine paper. It contains everything I have to do today. Press Q to see it. Eat food, take my medicine, sit on the couch, watch TV, lit lit a candle, sleep. Okay. Okay, so first thing I need to do is eat food. I wish to eat my food. That's a bathroom. Can't open that door. You know, it's my fucking house. I'm not going in there. And where's my food? Hmm. Holy shit! I just got a new follower! Oh, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Give me a moment so I can see. Uh, Refuse Games. I, 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 if I said the name wrong, I'm sorry. But, uh, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Oh, I can turn this on. Excuse you. I got my chicken nuggies <laughs> and mashed potatoes. Do I sit down and eat them? Do I cook them? No. Oh. Okay, I guess not sit on the couch and watch TV. I guess go over here and watch some TV. Oh, this art isn't disturbing in the slightest. It has enough TV. <laughs> Lit a candle. I I am sorry. Ah oh, shit! Did I murder someone again? It's getting late. I should go to sleep. I gotta stop this murdering. <laughs> I know I like when I see a person I just stab them in the ass and kill them. But I, I can't help it. I always sleep with my bedroom door closed. It's probably a good idea. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, what do I gotta do now? If okay, it's the exact same shit. Do not forget to try to forget. What? I wait, wait. Do not forget to try to forget. What? I. What? I'm confused. <laughs> Hello? Can't go on there. I guess I eat more than my chicken nuggies and mashed potatoes. Eat them cold, apparently, because that's what I like. Take whatever the fuck pills I have. Oh, that art is so disturbing, but I like it at the same time. It's the exact same art I would hang in my house. Because I hate myself.
Nothing different. Everything is fine. Oh, wait a minute. That fucking clock. I saw that. Wait the fuck on. You might excuse me how you were speeding through time like a motherfucker. I am sorry. I cannot get it out of my head. I can't. I cannot forget. What did I do? How did I murder them? <laughs> Please tell me it was a knife to the ass. So I'm out of the door closed. God damn, I keep forgetting to close my dip. Thought I saw something. But nope, it's nothing. Same shit. Okay, so nothing's different. That's okay. We, we don't need to be scared in this game. Everything can be just the same. Holy shit! I just got a new follower! Oh shit. Well, who? Oh, thank you for following a, a Ghost BRL. I appreciate it. I'm slowly running out of food. Keep moving, moving. Nothing bad will happen if you just keep doing the same old shit. And there goes the clock again. Also, what the fuck am I watching? It's just a, just a white screen. I'm just watching a white screen of death. Not the white death, the white screen of death. I cannot do this anymore. I do not feel good. I must take my medicines. I must find my medicines. Well, I already know where it's at. Calm the fuck down. Oh. I need to find my medicines. Okay, let's just keep going. Find my medicine. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Oh my god. I need my medicines. I see that. Okay then. Can I open these? I hey Don't fucking do that Where are my medicines? I'm looking for them You impatient bitch Can't open that Nowhere. I. Hey. Oh, I'm dead. What 
happened? My head. Oh, let's go to bed. I, I need my medicine. Oh, of course. What the fuck? That wasn't great being the slightest. Anyways, let's head to bed. There's nothing scary going on. Holy shit! I just got a new follower! Thank you for following, I appreciate it! Now you can watch me get scared off my ass. Alright. Alright, you motherfucking bitch. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to take a nap. A nap of me dreaming of stabbing people's asses with a knife. Fuck it, I'm not paying attention. God damn it. Stupid fucking TV. Who the fuck were you? What was that thing? Hell if I know. I think it'd be good idea to pick my flashlight. I think I've left it somewhere in the living room. I was about to use the flashlight. Okay, oh, well, I'm not in the dark area yet. So I don't need it. Anyways, let's go to bed. God damn it. Okay, so there's nothing going on here. That was as good as that. So I gotta search everywhere. Not seeing anything new to open. Hmm. Some dirty ass toilet and bathtub. Fucking Christ, fuck you. Oh my God. Don't do that. Oh, you fucking bitch. So I lost power. That's fine. Oh, well, I lost power to that room. Apparently there's light over here. Oh, now this door's open. I'm totally not going to die. And my, my waiting is totally not going to die. I'm going to die entirely. 
This room should be kept locked. I had to be certain, so I threw the key away. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ. So a key, there should be a key somewhere. That's what I'm getting hold of. Nothing. Oh, I see what's supposed to go towards. This hallway wasn't that long before. And this wasn't on here either. Look away. I can't look away. Uh, how do I make it stop? I can't do anything. I can't move. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Nope, none of the lights work. The blood's gone. So I definitely murdered someone. No, oh, no, nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing there, nothing there. You can't open that anymore. Oh! Breaking my house now, that's great. That, that's just great, thanks. I appreciate that. You're breaking my house now. Why is this on my screen? I don't know, I glitched the game and now I got this stuck on my screen. There we go. Okay. Everything is fine. Everything... Say okay. You can't click on you anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking hi! Excuse you. You will never forget. Oh, that's just gray. Give me guys a moment. I gotta 
Send out a message to someone. Anyways, let's continue, I guess. Hello? Excuse you. You know, I'm just gonna leave, you know, let's close the door. Oh, there's blood underneath that door, that's great. Okay, I guess we go back now. I guess this is a game where I have to constantly go back and forth. I heard a door open. I heard something open. Oh my god. What the fuck? Who released my victim out from the basement? Yeah, the only thing I just have to constantly go back and forth. Well, fuck you. I just need to take a piss. Fucking bitch. Holy shit, I just got a new follower. Oh, thanks for following, I appreciate it. Um, this is Jeremy, he is my best friend. Don't worry about it. The darkness gives and voice. Oh, fuck that. The voice. Can you hear it? That's literally pictures of the hallway. Everything is normal. Everything is fine.
I don't like that. I know it says the the darkness voice or whatever. But no. Oh, I can't turn my flashlight on anymore. Why can't I turn on my flashlight? What have I done? I want my flashlight. I, I think I broke the game. I think I had Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, 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 what the fuck? The fuck? No, nope, that was a part of the game. I just had to go in complete and utter darkness. Oh, God. Hello? Anything new gonna poke out? I heard a door. But I don't know where the door came, sound came from. Oh, it came from here. Oh. I have a key. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I guess I don't need the key anymore. I am back with and with the key. But how is that possible? Buddy, I'm just not going to question it either. Oh, th this red paint ruined the painting. I'm in the painting. Oh no. Plus, press shift to run. Why do I need to run? I'm just gonna constantly hold for sprint. Those are a bunch of dead people. Who is hanging my victims on the trees?
So far, I, it's just in the woods. That's it. Also, for some reason, my my fucking flashlight is puffing out smoke. We're, we're just not going to question it. Anyways, let's just keep going. Oh. I'm holding sprint. I'm holding the sprint button. I will not stop running. Jesus. Fuck you. I am still refusing to let go of the shit key. Fuck that. I'm running forever. I have endless endurance. How far is this fucking road? God. They are very much dead. Oh, that's a lot of alcohol. I'm not being stopped, so I'm assuming I do. Oh, it was a world border. Yeah, I was not supposed to go this way. On to the burning corpses that I'll consume later we go. I'm gonna go this way. No, another world border. I I guess there was supposed to so something I'm supposed to be clicking. I mean, I can't exactly help them. They're fucking dead. Confused, where do I go? Yeah, 
And this kid is why you wear a seatbelt. either so I can't I don't know what I'm supposed to do back on the path everywhere else so there's nowhere else I can go and I couldn't click on anything so it's not like I can go into cars and write off I'm only assuming this is where I'm supposed to go Exit the painting of my previous murder. get a world border I'm gonna be pissed off I had no idea what I was supposed to fucking do So many curves. There's some dead bodies. I think I'm just going back towards the beginning. I don't have to walk all the way to fuck back. There's a force that stops me from moving forward. I should go back. God damn it. I fucking called it. So there has to be somewhere around that fucking car area. Mouse move would move for a moment there. Got stuck on something. 
Why is there so many fucking curbs? There had to be something around those fucking car areas. I had to do something. Be scared again, or are they just not gonna redo the jump scares? Hello, anybody around? Hello. Hopefully I'll see the cars soon. I hope I don't have to do back and forth like before. I'm so confused as where I'm supposed to go. As I made it to here. Another world border here. So I am very much confused. What am I supposed to do? It's not like I can climb this. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, god damn it. Wander aimlessly for the rest of the time. Yes, yeah, on Hi, Zanju. Alone with your thoughts. I found the path. That's the real dread. Oh my god. Oh, I'm at a graveyard. I'm at where my channel is going to go. See, it's a coffin. It's my channel. Let's bury it. I don't think I'm supposed to go here yet because I can't activate anything. Oh. I guess I can't leave. Oh, there's a bunch of dead people. Pointing. Oh, I'm going in the coffin. That makes sense, because my channel is dead. How are you, Sanju? Dead, one alive in car accident. Death car driver never found. The car driver that caused the death of four people is still missing. Daily car accident driver still missing. Police spokesman, after a year of investigation, the case is still open. I, I, I heard more lights. I don't know where, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's just this. God damn it. Oh, it's right here. It's, it's a car. Oh my gosh, it's my victims. Oh, there's a teddy bear. Right over here is next. Ah, uh, yes, my channel. Now what? I opened it. It's open. Oh, there we go.
No more music. We just keep on doing our thing, Sanju, because nothing bad ever happened. There's absolutely nothing wrong here. Yeah, right, there's nothing wrong here. I will always remember, I'll always suffer, the demon within me will always haunt me, will always find me. Okay. I don't care. Unless the demon has a really big dick, then I will care. Because I'll use it. I'll use the dick. I think I left the fridge open. I should have closed it. Oh, I can no longer run. This is nice calming. This is just a day-to-day -day simulator. Nothing horror about it. <laughs> Nothing going wrong. All right, now where's the deal with the big ass dick? Or multiple demons with okayish dicks surrounding me in a white couch. Either or is fine. I have problems. Still waiting on my demon dicks. Oh, no. No speaking this time? Okay. My door is closed. I did not close it. I hmm. I have questions. Fuck it. If I get banned, I get banned. Can you at least fuck me in the ass before I do this? No? Okay. Oh dear God. Huh. So that was the game Social Media Influencer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Now what? All I see is a white screen. I am now hurting the eyes of anyone who watches my streams. Oh, there it goes. Thank you for playing.
Ah, god damn it. White screen. Is, is, is it going to show anything else? No. So that was all of that game. <laughs> Alright. We got the game Pen Pal. Oh, I already don't like that thing right there. What the fuck is that? Who the fuck are you? Anyways. Who would be knocking at this time of night? Why do a lot of my rooms not have doors? Also, why is my house so gigantic? Dear Thomas, my name is Larry Brickender, and I'm writing, writing you to ask about the idea of possibly exchanging letters between us. I've been rather lonely as of late due to recent circumstances, so for the past few weeks, I've been going door to door, leaving people in notes like this. Since I haven't anyone to talk to, I would like to ask if you would be comfortable with me with keeping in contact for, for a little while, so I would have someone regularly write to. Giving a pen pal is lots of fun. It's tons of fun, and it's been a good while since I've had one. You can tell me about your interests, ha happenings in your life, or perhaps you could write me if you ever feel you just need somebody to protect your thoughts onto. I hope to hear, you ba hear back from you. Sincerely, Larry. I better go write a reply upstairs. Or how about I just go to bed, because fuck Larry. Are for losers. Hey, Zanju, would it be okay if I fuck Larry and tell him to fuck off? That's how you, you take care of things, right? Choose one of these pre written responses to reply to the note you received. Oh, okay. Alright, so I either got. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dear Larry, the idea of changing letters sounds successful to me. I am quite fond of writing and reading, and I haven't gotten a clue on what to write as of late. I'm also interested to know about your life and your hobbies and such. I think being pen pals would be a very neat experience. I want to ask why you've been lonely, if you don't mind me doing so. Let's hear from Gazzilli Thomas. Okay. Dear Larry, I would love to be your pen pal, although I would greatly appreciate if you could refrain from sending me notes as as such as at a late hour since I work in the mornings and need my rest. I'm sorry you've been lonely lately, and I can't wait to get to know you better. I actually had a pen pal when I was much younger, so I do know how funny it could be to have one. A couple of things about me that you should know. I love dogs, my favorite color is red, and I love to watch movies. I also enjoy making new friends, so this preposition is great, perfect for me. Anyways, thank you for writing me, and I await your reply. Alright, Sanji, one or two? This, this one's one. And this is two. One or two. Uh, two.
go back to bed. Holy shit, my my trash can's filled with cum rags. I literally thought that was the fucking creature staring out a window, but that's a fucking painting. Oh, what the fuck? I phased into the wall. That's how I sleep. You rest your head and mail a letter in the morning. It feels good to have a friend, doesn't it? I better go answer the door. Empty. <laughs> oh, hey, Jerry. How are you? I wasn't... I wasn't being horny. Dear Thomas, wonderful. I'm happy you decided to be my pen pal. Thank you for telling me about some of your interests. By the way, I love to get to know new people. And I also know how fun it is to have someone to write to. Since I have had several pen pals in the past, nothing beats being able to share your thoughts with others. Speaking of which, this is kind of a random question, but what kind of security system do you have on your house? What the fuck? We're dropping off my previous letter. I noticed some kind of electric alarm by your door. I'm just asking because I've been searching for some kind of security system lately. Since quite a few robberies happen where I live, better safe than sorry. Am I right? Anyway, I, it was wonderful hearing back from you, and I hope to write you again. Sincerely, Larry. Alright, let's see how stupid my character is. Go upstairs and write a reply. What? <laughs> uh. Why? Hmm. 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 Wait a minute. Hmm. I saw you in that window. I saw you looking at me through this window. And you can't really check security system. Alright. Now I gotta choose between two letters to write. Hi, dear Larry. Hi, while it's been nice to hear back from you, I honestly don't feel comfortable sharing the information you requested. Sorry, but I would just feel a lot safer if I keep my security information to myself. You could go online and find a great security system quite easily if you like. Anyways, I'm just curious, so I'd like to ask you how you've been faring lately, especially with all the recent events <sighs> that have been taking place in the world. COVID's been affecting quite a few people. Oh, this is a recent game. A recently made horror game. And I just thought I would, I would inquire about your current living arrangements to hear now it's treating you. Sincerely, Thomas. I can either tell, uh, do that one or, dear Larry, hello, I'm glad I got your, got, you got my reply. I've recently used Silver Pyramid Security Interface, since I find it extremely effective against break-ins and vandalism. Funny story, actually, once the alarm actually did catch somebody trying to break into my house, and the alarm set off immediately. It scared them away. It's super cool and easy to set up. You can look that up online if you want to buy it. I do know the neighborhood you're, you're in tends to have quite a bit of crime. So I definitely think you could benefit from it. Oh, and I wanted to quickly ask you about your favorite books. And since we both love reading and writing, I personally love to The Giver by Lois Lowry. I wait your response. Sincerely, Thomas. I have no idea if that's... Is that an, actually, an actual book? I don't know. All right, chat. One or two. One is we don't tell them the security system. Two is we tell them the security system. It is. Okay. One. Okay, we got one vote for one. One. Okay. A everyone in chat is smart. I said Giver is a good book. I hate the ending. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever read The Giver. Or even have it.
Go back to bed. Oh, there I go again. <laughs> I get flung into space. Master had it and mailed a letter in the morning. A sense of dread leads to a fitful sleep. What? I to go answer the door. Well, I didn't tell them the security system, so the the alarm will go off and scare them off. Dear Thomas, hi. No worries with not sharing with which security system you use. I do suppose that sharing that information could cause some problems. Sorry, I asked. And to answer your question, I've been doing quite well for myself. I've got my own place to stay, and I don't have a job, so COVID didn't really affect me all that much. Anyways, I've got a question for you. It's a bit personal qu questions. So don't feel like you have to answer. Have you ever been in a relationship that didn't work out? Like, it just didn't work for some reason, and you feel like it's all your fault? I'm just curious. Sincerely, Larry. No, every r romantic relationship I've been in, I... I was cheated on, so no, I I automatically knew it was not my fault, which is why I haven't been in romantic relationship for years due to trust issues. And so I was wondering, I've caught them fucking multiple times. That's how I knew they were cheating. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Dear Larry, happy to, to hear you're doing well through these tough times. I know some people who are really struggling, so I thought to ask. Now, I just so I just thought to ask. Now, to question you asked, I don't really think I'm comfortable with answering it. I f it's a very random question, and to be honest, I barely know you. I just don't feel like giving an answer to it right now because of how personal it is. Sorry about that, Thomas. Oh dear. Dear Larry, thank you for understanding my wish my wish to keep my security system private. I'm just worried that if someone knew, they might be able to find a way to deactivate it, you know. Just trying to, my best to stay safe. Now, to answer the question that you asked, no, I haven't been in a relationship like that. I'm personally not that interested in dating, and I haven't been in a while. Why do you ask? One or two. One or two, chat. Sanji says two. And Jerry says two. Right. Go back to bed. Oh, this time I don't get flung. God damn it. You rest your head and mail the letter in the morning. Better safe than sorry, right? Why did you tell me that? I don't like I was told better safe than sorry. Now, I didn't really ask for a reason. I was just curious. Anyways, I got another question for you. What? Oh, I just noticed that there. 
Do you believe in ghosts? Oh, 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 ooh, ooh. Find a fuse in the kitchen and, and put in the kitchen breaker and turn the power back on. Okay. Okay, what the fuck was that thing? I forgot where I was supposed to look for the fucking fuse and where I was supposed to put it. Oh god, darkness. I couldn't see. Oh, well, that's where I'm supposed to put it. That was easy. <laughs> There ain't nothing in there. Oh, God. It's so hard to see because of how dark it is. Guessing the fuse is going to be upstairs. Oh, this is hard to see. Search through the cum rags. Nope. Oh, I got it. Just wanting to be yelled at by Jiri. There we go. Oh! I'm dead. Right. I know you're a degenerate. A short horror experience by Max Steven. I like that game. That was actually kind of creepy. I like that. Develop using Unreal Engine 4. Bad ending. My guess is we had to reveal all the information to get the good ending. Well, that can be done for another time. So there's other games I want to try. I'll just have to put. Oh my god, it's loud. Give me a moment, Danger Noodles. Oh my god, it's loud as fuck. Why are you glad at this? You'll see. <laughs> You'll see the name. Oh my god, that was loud. The Pizza Lord. You are a chef who tries to make a living in a big city. You moved there, there. You moved where? You moved there to fill your dream to run your own restaurant. 
So for you, you found nothing but failure on your journey. Oh, that doesn't answer my question, but okay. I'm saying because this is supposed to be a horror game, but it has a really jokey name. Despite all the warnings from your friends, you followed your heart and created a themed restaurant. With a satanic theme. Okay, now I'm happy. I would, I would 100% go to a pizza place even if it's, it's expensive if it had a satanic theme the theme is good enough but as you start working you learn that you are actually very poor at making pizzas <coughs> when you are clearing out the kitchen you notice that, that someone is sitting at one of the chairs in the dining area you are surprised as you usually notice when people come in because no one ever does <laughs> You can't quite see him in the dim light, but you can see two white eyes gleaming in the darkness. Play a game with our lord. Sacrifice four things, and he will come to your aid. He points at the pizza oven and you look at it. When you turn back and ask some questions, he is already gone. Click the start. Okay, so time to murder four people. I demand a cold sacrifice. Um, strange straw goat, stuffed animal, nail polish, unusually large, your pizza, necronomicon, leather whip, pack of smokes, flask of holy water, your pizza. Shoes. What would be cold? Utensils. Harmonica. Fuck it, we're gonna feed it my pizza. Yes, cold and tasteless. Oh, I was correct. I demand a hot sacrifice. Well, let me just go inside the oven right now. I'm sorry. Utensils, candles. Technically hot, but incorrect. God damn it. Pack of smokes, maybe. Nope. Fuck. If I fuck up one more time, I'm gonna die. Tinsels, glass, harmonica, stuffed animal, Necronomicon, leather whip, whip. Correct, leather whips are hot. Oh my god, Jerry. I demand a disgusting sacrifice. Flask of holy water, straw goat, utensil, pizza. Correct, worst pizza of all realms. I demand a sharp sacrifice. Utensils, obviously. Sacrificing utensils, lame. Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> demand a cold sacrifice. Okay, so it's gonna be the same thing all over again. Good. It's cold and tasteless. And a hot sacrifice. What will you do for sharp? I have no idea. Oh, the shoes, maybe? Disgusting sacrifice. Correct, worst pizza of all realms. 
demand the sharp sacrifice. Nope, those shoes are lame. <laughs> Got strange straw goat, candles, utensils, glass, harmonica, stuffed animal, nail polish unusually large, and a necronomicon and smokes. I want to guess harmonica for a sharp. Oh, nail polish, Jerry. All right, we'll go with you with nail polish. Correct. I always look sharp in this color. Oh my god. Suddenly, a mystic, yeah, the mystic gets his back. He produces a notebook out of thin air. Then he carefully inspects it. Our lord is satisfied. You feel your legs weaken as objects around you blur and you pass out. Hours later, you woke up at the floor. It's morning. You can hear people outside. As you peek outside the window, you are shocked that to see that the ruckus comes out of a line of people waiting to come to your restaurant. You feel like you have a hundred years of combined pizza making powers. You start preparing the kitchen. You feel like something is missing inside. The end. That's the game. 